keep taking me to this ultimate team stuff. Oh, you got some rewards. Yeah. Fuck it. Oh, 88 linebacker. Overall linebacker. Yeah, I'll do something a little later. And I got this. I whoop. I didn't whoop him last time, but. Oh, this is the ultimate. Alright, All right, choose anything you want to do. Let's do the Super Bowl. You, you're the Falcons, I'm the Patriots. Super Bowl. Um, we, I don't have to come back. I'm gonna whoop you the whole game. Oh, I accidentally messed up. Take it. Put it to all pro. Larry, they broke ground on this place in the year 2000, opened it in August of 2002, and it's been the home of this franchise ever since. Welcome to NRG Stadium. In probably gonna, in this we game, probably a lot of missed goals, a lot of interceptions. And the New England Patriots. Yeah. I'm probably gonna throw a ball like three and he gonna throw a ball like ten. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. And he'll take this up. Four. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. And speaking of Devontae Freeman, Charles, curious how the Patriots are going to handle he and Tevin Coleman. They've been such a good one-two punch this year. We know the Patriots have a good D. How do you see that battle going down? I sense that Atlanta's going to try and get the Patriots linebackers on the move because they are thumping-type guys on that side of the ball. And if you have them out into space, make those guys chase a little bit and try and cover them, that'll be an interesting matchup. But what I like about Devontae Freeman, the passion that he plays with, and that sets a tone for his offense. He'll just have to make sure that he's not over-amped for the game. Oh, wow. Finding... 
13 yards that time at the first. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. He's going to wind up and air it out. For real? Oh, my God. He already scored. Yeah, he just threw it deep to Julio Jones, and he caught it over oh, the number 40 and Patrick Chung. Yeah, they broke my tackle. Oh, look at that. And I don't know if that was scripted. Was it an audible? Or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. Yeah, no, he's good. And he tried to force too many balls, but well, sometimes it works. Yeah. Now after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. Now, Deion Lewis to return. Solid return. 32-yard line. On first and ten, here's Brady. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. Have it to 44. Well, we know Brady relies so much on Julian Edelman, about 10 targets per game this year. But Chris Hogan obviously came to life against the Steelers. Well, he did before that, but he can have an impact, too, in this Super Bowl. He certainly can, and, and that's the beauty of Tom Brady playing quarterback. If you find Ooh. your way open, could have an impact on the game. Martellus Bennett at tight end could have an impact. Danny Amendola from the slot position could have an impact. And, of course, throwing to the backs, James White and Deion Lewis. So, Tom Brady, if you're open, he will definitely find you. Here's Brady. And right side caught Hogan. On first down, Brady. And it pops free. And brings up second down. Now a first carry for Laguerre Blunt. They only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. Throwing his Brady on third down. And that is it. Battled in that time. And fourth down coming up. <laughs> Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude. But I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. Now Ooh, everything why is everything so laggy right now? I can't do offense. anything. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And this may be a big early turning point in this Super Bowl. They're going to go for it on fourth down here. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. And this is caught. It's pulled. Eight of 16. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Brock knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great... You find Big 87. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. To throw, it's Brady. Flushed out right. And his throw in. Oh, wow. Lost him out of bounds. Chris Hogan, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. 
either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got oh, it. Oh, His pass caught with the four. Touchdown. Zone for a Patriot touchdown. Martellus Bennett, an 11 yard touchdown. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each Please catch time, it. Last two. Oh, my God. <laughs> this guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Us. So that's Counting three straight times that dude touchdown. has not we'll caught it. Like, that away. time I messed it up. Oh, that's a fumble. <gasps> this will be taken short. What? You literally fumbled it in the end zone, and it's not. Before the Falcons take over on offense, a stat that is definitely worth mentioning: they have scored this year 540 points, tied for eighth all time in league history. But my question to you: if you had to pick one key for this offense to be successful against New England, what is that? What? Offensive line, and I know that's not a very sexy thing to talk about. Oh, you about, just got picked off. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it. Charge and the Patriots getting ready to go again on offense. And Charles, you and I get a stat back before every game. At the top of this one for the Patriots, the first note was that they're on their way to their ninth Super Bowl appearance. That is something. Most of any team. And eight of those since 2001. Would that be yep, accurate? That because is accurate. the first one was Super Bowl 20. That didn't go very well against the Bears. <laughs> but since that time, they've become the predominant team going to Super Bowls and winning them. Uh, what a they... franchise. Offense. Never gonna do that again. I think I'm not gonna do that again. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Oh wow! Tom Brady can't tackle. Dude, I'm losing. I'm gonna lose. Well, we know this defense has athleticism. Spots like that prove us right. No, it's just because it's just so laggy. Because you and I both know. Because I can't even pick my plays. They play on defense. For that, man. Yeah, but every time I like it, every time I like the ball, lag, it you know, hikes the ball for me. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This is taken near the 13. And they're going to start this. Past the 30. The Falcons set to get things rolling up. So after the eye, it bleep to Hogan. Okay. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Blake, the lone running back. Dude. They got him for a sack. The game plan for any defense is finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the yeah, pocket. When you bring pressure from all angles, you never know who's going to get home. In this case, the left cornerback so so puts him down. I hike it. Like, one like, of his dudes lag, like, already um, passed on. Goal line. Look. Oh, my God, dude. I quit. Dude, you cheating, Josiah. Dude, your players keep lagging right past the goal line. Fourth down on now is the lefty Ryan Allen to punt. Back deep for the Falcons is Eric Weems. Yeah, it was lagging a rainbow. Give him a and the Falcons are set up well to begin their drive as it'll begin in enemy territory already. The New England defense gearing up to take the field. They got a little steam following the interception the last time they were out there, Charles. And they wanted to keep that going now because once you get one, he wanted to multiply and turn into a bunch more. And right now, they're... 
No fly zone. I like, like that. well, that play, I, my team liked um, yeah, the first the line. They would intercept it. <laughs> that play never got off the ground because of the defensive front. They owned the offensive line, which allowed the linebackers to see their openings and run straight to the ball. That's why that play just never had a chance. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And both Ooh. guys were... All I gotta do is just keep stopping them and just score a couple of touchdowns. I'm stopping them, but. know what the Super Bowl feels like. Martellus Bennett, the guy so, no, eighth year for the Super Bowl trip. Late it. Doing some dances with the cheerleaders and the gun pops. The pop pops were going everywhere, weren't they? Anyway. But the interesting part was his observation later on on social media where he said, I was out of my mind excited. I looked around and a lot of the guys on the Patriots team they're like, yeah, you know, we've done this. Look at that, your dude is lagging, bro. His impact this year. Supposed to team. Who you like? Like literally the whole team. Became the feature tight end after Brock's injury. They are so glad that they picked him up. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. You go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Shotgun now for Brady. What the? Oh, oh he got it. And he's he got, got it. Go. And he gets it. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so Good. difficult to cover. Yeah. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Nice That's touchdown, <laughs> second touchdown for um, Martavius oh, Bennett. Patriots. Martellus Bennett, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Patriots move back within a couple of the lead. So they've had two drives, and he's had the two receiving touchdowns. And how about a game plan where you decide to force feed or feature someone, and it works. First two drives, as you noted, end up in touchdown passes. I didn't even keep going to him until it did. Dude, I hate this game, bro. It's so there. fake. So they come up empty on the two-point conversion, and they are unable to tie up this football game. Goskowski now. I've never, touchdown. I've never got a touchdown away. doing a QB sneak ever. Let's just feel it at the goal line. I was just on the two-yard line going for two points to tie up the game. My the my own center um, blocked me from getting there. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. And two interceptions thrown here in this first half. You hear it, no matter the sport, they say the great athletes, they can kind of have a short-term memory, but that's easier said than done. It is easier said than done, but I played with a guy who threw two interceptions in the first quarter of a really big game we were playing. Johnny United. But no, not, not quite of that level. <laughs> Was going for the I remember looking over at it, and he was smiling. Oh, yeah, I know what I'm going to do. He's because he had enough confidence in himself. That, and, and, and Keep that doing that same play, Joe, so I'm Pretty well the rest of the day. Now Ryan on first down. And complete on the right side. It's Tammy. They got to try to carry it out. Break one. Now, that throw good for four. It's second down. 
I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, Ooh, that was fake. For the 47 here. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. Well, it's no secret the defenses have pretty much not been able to cover Julio Jones this season. How do the Patriots do it? I know that that's the $64,000 question. What's the answer? I think they do it in a variety of ways. I think it's going to be a combination plate that they'll throw at it. Sometimes you'll get in line up with Julio Jones. There'll be times where he won't, and they'll end up double-teaming Julio. But whoever's on that side... We'll show him different things. They'll come up and press him. They'll back away. They'll pretend to press. They'll run with him. They'll wait at five yards and catch him and try and jam him. Better do a Hail Mary. Trying to chip away at his timing. They got pressure there and only rushing three. And there's a defensive coordinator right now who is celebrating not just getting home with three there, but realizing if that's the type of pressure he can get in the entire game, then his pass defense is going to be excellent. He dropped an eight. Where are you going to go with the football? Oh, he dropped it. What? brings up fourth down. You can't go for that. That's too much of a big risk. He dropped it. An in route. Wow, you're going for it. You're like the dumbest. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where you go for it. Going to come from. Oh, I got this play. That's gonna stop you for sure. Like to go on fourth and eleven. And I'm gonna blitz you. They're going on fourth down. It's Ryan. Second interception. Second interception for one player. So that is three interceptions now in this first half, and you hate to ask the question. No, like oh, let's be honest, on the Patriots, it, do like need to go in Dante Hightower got two interceptions. I think he's thrown three. We know that he's probably not going to be on the Pro Bowl ballot. That's not really his stature. Oh, me. But he has been their starting oh, quarterback go, go. for this game, so they got to weigh things about. I keep all I gotta do is keep stopping on my own defense, you know. I'll win pretty much. That's all I need is like one more score, field goal, safety, or a touchdown, you know. I'm back in it. On first down, Brady. Screen pass to Blood. Go go go. Oh. And they'll be inside the third. Dude. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. I swear I hate blockers in this game, man. It was getting away on those screens. Now Brady throwing on second down. And complete on the right side to Bennett. To the 29-yard line. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Brady now on first down. Oh, oh that was first down, all right. Play Gronkowski, the intended target, and it's second down. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to yes, help let's go. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Second five. Now run it now out of the gun. Block, Gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Oh yeah, he's wide open. Uh, go, go, go. Nice. Uh, dang it. Gotta kick the field goal. I'm not going for it. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Trying to well, I need the good accuracy. Is that good enough? That's good enough. Yeah. Alright. I'm winning now. So it's a seven-play drive, but it stalls out. Oh, I got it, dude. I just realized the, four, the first quarter ain't even over with yet. I forgot that we played 12 minute quarters. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. And a fair catch signal. 
Why won't you return none of them? Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And three interceptions in this game. I would have to think I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of like, oh man, I can't throw four. No, what's interesting is what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, the alter run. Actually, I know a play I'm probably going to be doing the whole game. Supreme confidence. He's going to turn things around. I know a play I'm probably going to be doing the whole game. Charles Sanu is a great weapon, often in the shadow of Julio Jones. And with so much attention, going to be paid to Julio by the Patriots. The Falcons, they have other weapons just like Sanu. Oh, my God. Sure, Julio Jones, man. They had him, like, he can boss anybody in this game. All-time NFL record Hul with numbers 13. No, Julio Just Jones. Look at it this way. Mohamed Sanu, Tevin Coleman, Man, like, Austin Hooper, he did, tight end. oh, picked off. Man, oh, my God. No, he just mossed Malcolm Butler and on Jason McCourty. And now they're on the five-yard line. Well, even after all those dude, that's interceptions, he's not deterred, still confident to go deep at work there. I think all the dude, this dude cheating, man. Dude, do you put your own thing on him? Oh, that's pick. Pick it off. Yeah. Y'all in the goal line. Why would you swat it down? You, you were right there to pick it off. you find out if you're great or not. Can you overcome some interceptions and still lead your team to victory? All defenders get tired of hearing about their lack of hands and why they're Oh, I'm about to get Josiah. Oh, yeah, let's go. He keep dropping the ball. Five yard line. Yeah, I want, I, I want him to. I wish this wasn't third and goal. I wish this was like more first and goal. Oh, I'm about to get him. I'm about to get him. Oh, you got You dropped it. I was just kidding. Dude, you were so annoying. So on fourth down, off goes Matt Ryan, and on is another Matt. Matt Bryan from the right <laughs> hash, and this one on. just a chippy. <laughs> No, you got to decline that. Dude, how did they just do that? Now whistles blow and the Patriots what are going to take call, Just when the play the started, they're going to be like flag. And oh, they're going to say they're oh, to like one, something remaining. about the sidelines. The Falcons will call on Matt Bryant for the field goal try. From the right hash here should be an easy one. No, it's a oh, fake. Flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's gonna throw it. <gasps> Let's go. He was on the three-yard line. He did a fake field goal. Man, he, I, I played prevent. The element of surprise was there. All right, there's no doubt about it for us, maybe. But not for the guys on defense. An incomplete pass on the fake field goal attempt. I guess though, if you're trying to pick up the first in that spot. Oh my god, that was the worst. Oh, I didn't lose no yards. All right. I was about to say, that was like the stupidest play I've ever done in my life. No yards. Yeah, you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats. Throwing the ball, get a completion. I need to get out of here, man, real quick. No yardage. Okay. All right, that, that was good. Was that a first down? Yeah, that was a first. It's a 10 yard pick up and it moves the chains. And now, some teams use the running game just to bludgeon people. I think that Brady to Gronk does the exact same thing. I want to start them. blowing you out, Josiah. Long, short, medium. They know how to connect. In ways that sort of revolutionize the quarterback tight end relationship. They can go, as you, you told me before. Yeah, hey, I got some yards. And the way that Gronk is used, he's not just a tight end. Oftentimes, they put him on the backside of formation as a single wide receiver, and he runs routes exactly that way. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and go, be go, well go. executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go. Game. A really nice pick oh. up at 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Oh. Oh. You're annoying. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two, and they've got it here with a first down. On 
first and ten. Here's Brady. And that's Cullen. It's Hogan. Seven. Yeah, I'm not getting nowhere, but I just gained seven yards on the first down play. And I'm winning. Yeah. All I had to do was score. 15, 14, about to score again. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. I think that's a big pickup for a beginning of second quarter. The drag route against zone is sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Oh, Woo. oh, oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I'm lost one of his players, and I was playing around. Like, you know how you can dance before all you, oh. Before you score a touchdown, I was doing that. But next thing you know, on oh, some dudes speed up right behind me. No, I, I stopped before they came, but they tackled me though. Actually drafted by the Expos in 1995 in the 18th round. Wow, that would have been something to see him behind the dish. Hey, Hunter. Touchdown, Julian Edelman from 10 yards out, and the Patriots add six to their lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. And with that... Oh, yeah. Now it's 14 to 21. So that drive goes eight plays, and it ends with a New England touchdown. Goskowski now after the touchdown. going to be like the boringest 12 minutes of my life. Oh, you fumbled. You better pick it up and don't run somewhere. It's a very short kick. Take it. Touchdown for me. You see? Wow. That's crazy. That's why you should return him. Oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. And oh, my God. Oh, yeah, it's 28 to 14, okay, though. Off of the, the extra point After 14 seconds, I told you it there. was 14 to 22. He fumbled in his, in, in his own end zone and did, didn't did do anything about it. He just... But do you see I did. That's why. That's how I got the touchdown. From the 15 on the PAT. I don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hole, and someone kicking the ball through the post. Here comes the Atlanta offense now, ready to take over here. Ryan going up top. Oh my gosh! If he mosses me, and that one Whew. God, Logan Ryan just saved my Fishing life. There, but he couldn't hold on to the second down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. He's going to go up top again. Oh, my God. Wide open. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown. Julio Jones. Ooh, you're touchdown. just like Alejandro. Can't pass it to anybody except to one person. Their quick strike ability. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaps. Yeah, if he was facing like a seven, seven year old. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There should be plenty more before this game is over. Now after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. Who's the one losing? Not me. Not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Abdullah right. on the return. Not me. Oh, me. Ooh, if I got to the edges. At the 16 yard line. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. He does have the one interception, Charles, but I think that's been more than offset by the three first half touchdown passes. You're going to lose anyway. When you throw three touchdown passes to try and erase it. That's a little bit better than the ratio that all NFL coaches are seeking from their quarterbacks, and he's giving it to them. Oh, you're doing a Mandy every single time. Brady to throw on second down. 
Oh, wide open. He got some dude was. So we watched some dude was wide open on the. So we watched this dude was wide open on the sideline. At all, he. Oh, I passed it to him. You know, he went out of bounds when he caught it. So, nope. James White, the man he was looking for out of the backfield. And it's four That's about to butt you the whole game. pressure on the guy throwing the football is always good. But when you can couple that with contact on him, that leads to an incompletion as we just saw there. That's winning football. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. Dude, oh my gosh. I know kick, kick is plenty of throws. not pay off. But well, not only did they try to fake it, so I'm gonna they win. put the ball in the arm of their punter. And it didn't work out. Not the quarterback. No. The, the quarterback. I already knew kickers yeah, can't throw. And it's so funny because when it works, genius. When it doesn't work, not so smart. Not so In this case, not so genius. I do admire that he went for it. That's going to be cool. Yeah, you're on the nice third line. Up of 12 I mean. And it gives him a first and goal. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after play. Oh, dude, you're getting lucky, man. These... I don't, I don't know what it is about um, being in the end zone and not catching an interception. they play better without getting beat deep for big passes? A good number of coaches at any time they call it in route are really worried about the play because it's no, so like my dudes be slotted it. The they don't be trying to intercept it. And on that play, it was batted down. And it turns the ball free and brings up third down. This defense has held on so far. Yeah. Now from the three, this is third and goal. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will actually break your heart. They had everything they wanted. Oh, pick it off, bro. A big time drop. Mm. And that was a nice play. He knocked it away, but obviously you want the interception. In I just situation. had three straight up chances to pick chance it up. They have any decision to make on fourth down, but things happen so quickly. In the end zone, in this compressed area of the field, that you're just happy to knock it away and not allow a touchdown. And Bryant's kick will wind up using three. Uh, 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 uh. So give him three there. A good drive gets him inside the five, but they couldn't punch yeah, it. Yeah, that's just and credit hard. this defense too. That was the old big you made a field goal. Break approach, but it kept the offense out of the end zone. Here's Butcher to kick it away. Right around the 36. Yeah, I think so. The Patriot offense now set to come back out on the field. And on that last drive, they for on fourth, turned it over. Good job by their defense, though. They held them to three. But this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to... The coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I'm only passing to like two guys, and um, if we don't get it, we're still beating. We'll give up more than three. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened. think that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Best. You know? Best. Completion good for three, and it's second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Here's Brady to throw to the left side and complete for Jewel. The catch, it's third down. Well, if you'd like to see guys play the game hard, if you'd like to see the guys be aggressive, if you'd like to see the guys maximize their ability, you talk about Julian Edelman, aren't you? What a game he had in the AFC Championship against Pittsburgh. 118 yards and a touchdown, and now he'll look to do what he did in Super Bowl. Score as well. And he's just one of those guys that if he's on the field, you have to respect his talent, but you especially respect his passion. Throughout his career, Tom Brady has made a living with the quick pass, hasn't he? How about that one? A little slant inside, and I think his arm's gotten stronger throughout his career, too. Yeah. And you can just see one of many examples oh, yeah. of why he's made more trips All to the, the Super Bowl than any other quarterback. Footwork, Eek. intelligence, competitiveness, that's Tom Brady. 
the 18-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels let's go. routine. Yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And here comes play number six on this drive. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover down. Ooh, touchdown. Let's go. And the Patriots add on to their lead. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. That was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. I'm going to do it randomly. I'm just going to keep moving around. And when I press X, that's where I have to ha kick it. Oh, yay. Pushes the lead up to 11. Hitting the kicker, Josiah. Why would you do that? Why would you do that, Josiah? I accept. Because now I'm on the yard line. When you're going back there, and all I have to do is just kick it a little short. The right pick, that didn't and then you're in bad position. The the penalty flag had to come out. Yeah. Now after the touchdown, 24 to 1. Short, short kick. One of the 24 to 35. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if I'm going to be all the way over here just waiting for um, Julio Jones. Oh, Julio Jones. Now Ryan on oh, yeah, I'm guarding Julio Jones the whole time. And that's caught. No. Ruled incomplete. Hey, by the way, I wanted to ask you while we have a minute, did you catch the Pro Bowl? How about that? In, in the city of Orlando, they could not have been more excited. A sellout, actually standing room only for the Pro Bowl. And some defense was played. It wasn't the normal 55 to 50 shootout, 20 to 13. Was a Dude, they could have intercepted it. It's an MVP of the game. Three catches, 36 yards, and a touchdown. Lorenzo Alexander from Buffalo, his first year as an NFL full-time starter, capped it off with a Pro Bowl MVP at eight tackles in the game. What a year for Lorenzo Alexander. Gets a new car as well. Congratulations to both. Dude, for real. Time tonight, it's an interception. How many interceptions have you thrown? Let me see. Wait, do you quit? Oh, you, you hear that? He quit it. Yeah, and he just threw his fourth interception in the second quarter. And there were still six minutes left. So that's over.